Before you saw me with eternal eyes, why was it in sin? Restoration, healing, deliverance, testimonies with Dr. Jesus in action. You are watching Hour of Testimonies with Apostle Chibuzo Chinyere, General Overseer, OPM Worldwide. When you climbed up on that My testimony is about healing. In this exalted God, I have testified about God to Jesus, healing my daughter of a 16 year stomach pain. Many of you will remember. Oh, God healed your daughter of 15 years stomach pain. That she has been having stomach pain. Can you explain it? Yeah, my daughter. I, I gave birth to my daughter 16 years ago, and right from the day I gave birth to her, she started having stomach pain. Doctors asked for. They say we will go for operation. They did all sort of scan, but finally it was this June that she came to OPM and we blessed water and oil and sun and. She was healed. Clap for Dr. Jesus. 16 years stomach pain disappeared in OPM. Eh? Today I'm here to testify about myself. Five years ago, I'm a woman police. Five years ago, I was posted to a Bloma division. I went to the toilet and eased myself. Right from the day I entered that toilet and came out, my private part, I would scratch it until I could not walk because it would be so swollen. I did all sorts of things. I took all sorts of treatment. I go to hospital, I conduct tests. They will tell me nothing. It's toilet disease. But upon all the medication, nothing happened. I begin to pray to God. Because of this thing, my menses will be so dark. And whenever I want to menstruate, I will not go to work. Because it will be as if the heaven is falling on my head. Three months ago, when I picked assignment or something must happen, I started praying. Somebody said I was supposed to take assignment on Dr. Jesus. I said no. That the problem that I came to this OPM are so many. So all I need is something must happen. Something must happen. Eh? So... I started using the OPM water and OPM oil. I will use it to wash my private part. I will use the oil to rub on it as an ointment. For three months now, even when my menses come, I don't even remember there is pains again. Even my menses now is so red, so normal like a woman. So uh, today I stand here to testify and give, return all the glory to God that I am now a woman again. Give Jesus a clap of him. Any form of affliction in your body. Today, I give it quick notice. I give it quick notice. In the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Dr. Jesus in action. God is here. OPM. Dr. Jesus in action. My name is Beauty. Honor her beauty, Emmanuel. And I live on Mommy B Road. The first testimony is about my university. I actually studied law. I was supposed to spend five years studying the course, but I ended up doing it for almost 11 years. Now, a lecturer insisted I would be in class all through her course study because she wanted a 75% attendance. But I couldn't do it because I had a job, and my job was actually very sensitive. There was nobody to cover for me if I had to leave my place to go to class. Now, when it continued for years, my dad thought I was lying about my education, and he had to come to school to find out what was really going on. But as God will have it, after about seven or eight years, she allowed me go. I got to law school. Prior to the law school, it was difficult for my parents to pay my law school fees. But God, in his wisdom, provided me with a divine helper who paid my school fees. As if that was not enough, the places I worked in, they gave me money until I finished my education. Clap for Dr. Jesus. 
Huh? When I went to Lagos to do my externship, I met another friend who decided to take care of all of my expenses. And when it was actually time to graduate from law school, too, he paid for my loss, my gown, my wig, and he did not just give me a wig, he gave me one of the most expensive wigs. Give Jesus a clap of him. Mm. After the law school, I came back home. On my birthday in June, another friend of mine called me and asked me what I wanted. I said, anything that comes from your heart. He just gave me money to go and register a company and told me whatever company I wanted, he would finance it. As if that was not enough. Another friend... Favor, favor, I prophesy. Today you shall receive unlimited favor. You shall receive unlimited favor. God, favor everywhere. Favor, favor, favor. Uh -huh. My friend too in Lagos called me out of nowhere and asked me, what do you want to do for business? I said, anything you want. He told me, go and scout, I mean, survey for any kind of business you can handle. I'll give you whatever money it will take to start up the business. And I'm still thinking of what business to do. He's still very patient waiting. My younger brother is supposed to be here, but he didn't want to come out. So I'll give the testimony for him. One of those days, he was washing clothes in the back he had. And just as he bent down to wash into the bucket, a bullet from nowhere mm. went into the bucket and pieces the bucket. When he picked it up, it was a live bullet and it was not discharged. We kept it quiet until my mom saw the bucket and was like, what happened to my bucket? We had to tell her what happened to the bucket. But I thank God for sparing my brother's life. And to wrap up my own testimony, I have had this problem with my stomach all my life. It's been there for more than 20 something years. I would eat whatever I want, but I would not stew for days, even weeks on ending. Wonderful. You eat anything, even though you eat plenty, Lele. You won't stew. Eh? I will not poo for months. Most times, three, four months, I don't go to the toilet. Hey! Then if you mess, <laughs> hey! <laughs> even set <Santa> go run. <laughs> what damn it? More than 29 years. More than 29 years. This has been going on. You stay one, two months without downloading. Hey! The person don't download one day. Imagine how you go there. They go stay one week. You don't download. Two weeks. One month. Hey. Just enter that and just release one. Even if they don't believe about the run. <laughs> When I came to OPM, I took up an assignment, and on the first day of my mercy prayer, I got my healing. So I can now clap for the Lord Jesus. Oh, the first time you started your assignment, you got your healing. Yes, I. Did. So now, how often do you download? As many times as I want. If as many times as I want. Give Jesus a clap of him. So you no longer stay like one month or one week or two. No. That's every day now. Yes. Give Jesus a clap of it. Are you seeing Dr. Jesus? And how much did you pay me for this thing? How much did you pay me? I did not pay anything. Give Jesus a clap of it. <laughs> eh? I have come to um, dedicate my call to bar certificate. Call to bar. Clap for Dr. Jesus. She has been called to bar. Look at it. Live and direct. Uh -huh. OPM. Dr. Jesus in action. Dr. Jesus in action. God is here. My name is uh, Godfrey Luce Oji. I'm from Abia State. I came to testify a job favor. I came here this year and on July. You came year, when? I came to OPM this year. This year, July? Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> so. On July this year, I picked the job uh, interview because... 
He for picked me. job assignment. Abi. Job, job assignment. He picked job assignment on July. We are in what? November. So July, August, September, October, November. Uh -huh. So, and for nine years now, I've lost both of my parents and I have had problems with my paternal home that I've been labeled useless. So, uh, last uh, week, last two weeks, I was called for a job interview in Lagos in an oil service firm. So, after the job interview, the following day, they told me to come and pick my appointment later. He came to OPM July. Now, he has gotten a miracle job in an oil service company. Mano, oil. And uh, just this past uh, Wednesday, when I came back from Lagos, I was traveling to Abia State to see my younger one. I had an accident along the uh, Enugu Potakot Express Road. The car some assaulted four times, but nothing happened to me. I was on hot. In OPM, there shall be no... Yeah, man, the devil is not happy. Say, how can you get this job? Satan, go and hug transformer. Satan, go and hug transformer. OPM. Dr. Jesus in Dr. action. Dr. Jesus in action. God is here. My name is Dominic. I came to dedicate my appointment later. Clap for Dr. Jesus. I made a vow with God that uh, if God blesses me with a job, I will come and testify. I work with one of the biggest schools in Port Accord. And at some point, I got so dissatisfied with my job, and I specifically asked God to bless me with a federal appointment or an international appointment. Uh, to that regard, I decided to take an um, uh, assignment on job favor. After I completed my assignment, that very week, I got an email from one of the biggest international organizations in Africa, the African Union. Uh, they sent me this email asking me to send my CV, my highest qualification and uh, international passport, which I did. After some weeks, they sent me this appointment letter asking me to come and work in the procurement unit as uh, a contract staff. Give Jesus a club offering. And also the uh, flight ticket and everything. The salary is mouth-watering. <laughs> The flight ticket, everything I've been paid. The visa letter. So I'll be based in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, working with the African Union in the headquarters. I also want to dedicate, uh, uh, dedicate this to God and return all glory to God. Give Jesus a clap of it. It doesn't take God a year to change your life. It takes God a second to change your life. I don't care how people are looking at you now. I don't care the shame you'll be facing. If I be a man of God, your situation must change. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Restoration, healing, deliverance, Testimonies with Dr. Jesus in action. You are watching Hour of Testimonies with Apostle Chibuzo Zochinere, General Overseer, OPM Worldwide. When you climb the Jesus in action. Doctor Jesus in action. God is here. My name is Ugo Eberechuku from Imo State. I'm here to return all the glory to Almighty God, who has been doing wonders in my family. Before I let, I came to OPM, my marriage was in a mess. Before I came to OPM, my marriage was in a mess. Uh -huh. So my sister invited me here. I came here, took an assignment, and God restored my marriage. Clap for that, Jesus. God restored our marriage. Anything the enemy has scattered in your life, God shall restore back. Uh -huh. So after then, 
we move down from where we are staying in Port Harcourt to Obibo, things change. Everything went down. To the extent of my husband, a car owner, becoming a conductor. Everybody. We sold all we had. Mm. To the extent of selling cover on and uh, safety boots. Mm. We sold all. So there is a land we bought before we moved down to Obibo. Hunger dead with us. There was much suffering. I started serving a woman. Whereby I will go out in the morning, wash and cook, mop the house, 10,000 naira in a month. And my husband was not aware of the job. I was doing it secretly because he would not allow me. When he got to know about it, he was very angry that I should stop that work and allow him to suffer for us because I was with two kids. So this thing was going on. To the extent the woman was using me as a rag, I was washing both his, her own this and the husband's on this. I suffered. So after then, my husband came here. I was worrying him to come to OPM. He I came. was worrying my husband, come to OPM, so that this suffering will stop. The man said, no, I won't come to OPM. Come to OPM. But later, he agreed and came. So when he came, what happened? When he came, he took an assignment, and when he was coming back, we had only 1,000 naira in our pocket. Wait, when that day he came to OPM to pick assignment, yes. he had only 1,000 naira, 1, naira Nigerian naira. Limited. Yes. 1,000 naira Nigerian Limited. That was home and away. Foreign and local. Eh? So when he was coming, because the land we bought before going to OPM, he said after coming back from the church, that he's going to sell the land. I was crying bitterly. My mother was the only person that knew our condition. So he came here after the church that day. He came back. I was expecting after the transport, maybe we'll have 200 naira to buy Gary to soak. He came back with nothing. I asked him, ah, ah, did you spend all the 1,000 naira? He said that. That morning, he saw a friend that drove him from there to Air Force. Then he saw a, 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 another helper that brought him here. That after that day, that he gave all the money in his pocket, that 1,000 naira. Wonderful. I was, I was like, uh -uh. he didn't remember your children. He said, I should forget it. We should look for anywhere to borrow. I was about to say, okay, let me go and sold my rappers he said no i should borrow that god is about doing something so after that that mercy that prayer he came and collected before a week they called him for job wait he came with one thousand home and away foreign and local and a friend carried him drop him and no one carried him and drop him so he was still holding 1,000. So he carried the whole 1,000 naira and gave in the church, leaving zero. The wife was asking, Come, uh, how can you give everything? Which one will your children eat? He said, Don't worry. God is going to do something. As I've taken this assignment, the assignment I will be giving to all um, these people on this side. So I give the assignment. In one week, he was called for a job. Give Jesus a clap of him. Remember, she had been humiliated. She started going to work for one woman. The woman would bring the underwears of the husband and I would say, wash, wash, I'm paying 10,000 naira. Wash, wash! Shout hallelujah. So, in one week, he got a job. He uh -huh. got a job. The land we bought before, he, he wanted to sell it. He said now that, he has, that he's not going to sell that land. Mm, mm. I was very happy and today, I'm here to, to dedicate our house and our land. Come, come. Are you saying the house you people rented or the house you built? The one we built. We are packing in on Wednesday.
somebody coming to OPM with only 1,000 naira, home and away. No food for children to eat. Come. That is why, if you are watching me, you've listened to the testimonies. Last Sunday, there was testimony like this. Two Sundays ago, there was testimony. Every Sunday, you see quantum of testimonies like this. Why do you want to go and join Obony? Where, where you have pain and sorrow. They say, sign. Sign away your life. Sign away your destiny. Come to opium. God still makes people rich. God still restores people. God still heals people. Satan will give you problem. Obony will give you problem. Free mess will give you problem. It is only the blessing of God that make it rich. And ask those. Look at all the lives that God has healed and restored. Give Jesus a clap of it. God is in OPM. God is here. My name is Evans Erendo. I'm a business consultant by profession. But for years, everything about this career was dormant. I was into other things. Though there was training in them, I was succeeding. But I did not have that satisfaction. I had books in a business entrepreneurship, which I wrote. But none of them was published. But the moment I sought the face of God of OPM, one of the books was published last year. Clap for the Lord Jesus. And on this altar of God, it was dedicated. And after the dedication, it was like a boom in the market. Mm. It had very great record of sales. Mm. The book launched me into the major core of business consulting. People who knew about what I was into. I thank God for what he did. And right now, as it stands, I have a program in, in business entrepreneurship, which is running now, which is to show the goodness of God and what God can do in the life of his people. Give Jesus a clap of it. Here today, I have come to dedicate the land God has given to me and my family. Give Jesus a clap of it. There's no one like you, Jesus. There's no one like you in our the end. Glory to God. <laughs> you just watch the testimonies of people. You are next to testify in the name of Jesus. If you are not giving your life to Christ, you are missing a lot. Kneel down wherever you are. You want to surrender your life to Christ? It's easy. It's simple. Just kneel down. Let me pray with you. Repeat this after me. Father Lord, I am a sinner. I have sinned against you. And I have done terrible things against you. Forgive me my sins. Remove my name from the book of death. And transfer it to the book of life. I promise. Starting from today, I will never go back to my old ways again. In Jesus' name. It's so simple. Just lay on your chest. Let me pray with you. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, for the Savior, well, if my people that are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn it from their wicked ways, they will lie from heaven and I forgive their sins. Heal the land. Heal the land of children today. Cleanse them. Wash them. Let them wet on us know. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. It's, it's done. If you are sick or you need breakthrough, just lay hand on your te television screen. Let me pray with you. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, by your anointing upon my life, I speak. Speak unto every affliction, every barrenness, every sickness. I cause right now to die in the name of Jesus. Leave this body, for this body is the temple of God in the name of Jesus. You, frustration, disappointment, uh, uh, poverty, right now, I command you in the name of Jesus to vacate this life now, to release the destiny now in the name of Jesus. Congratulations. So many things will begin to happen in your life. But I also, I'm also inviting you. To come and see me. It's very easy. You don't need to pay money to see me. You don't need to, there's no logistics. Just come to the church. You see the address on the screen, or you call me on my phone. I give an appointment. You come and you meet me. I'll give you an assignment. Once I give you that assignment, you do it very well. Your story must change in the name of Jesus. God loves you. Bye bye. Lord, I need you in my life. Lord, I need you in my life.
my life, Lord, I need you in my life.